job, good job, Celery. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you for laying another capsule. <gasps> and we have the jungle zigzag carpet. More greenery. Oh, Celery, you have brought so much greenery into our life. And we're going to go ahead and very quickly try to breed Celery now, my friends. Because Celery is actually hitting old age. So let's go, go, go. All right, who can we breed? Dang it, the squirrels are not old enough to breed. But you know what? We're gonna breed celery and mint together again. And this time we are gonna try to make Celery Stick the Second, who is going to be as green a dog as possible. Oh my goodness, because I don't want to lose those precious genetics, nor the very careful pile of doggy gut bacteria DNA we have been collecting. And welcome back everyone, by the way, to the laboratory experiment of wobble dogs, which is so weird on so many levels. I have so many questions. Science definitely goes too far sometimes, but I have to admit, in my heart of hearts, my secret heart, I'm loving this. This is so fun. All right, let's do this. We're gonna go ahead and we are gonna breed celery and mint together again. We're just gonna start off with that today. <gasps> A massive litter and one of them is yellow. Oh my gosh, should we breed two dogs? Cause I kind of love this one. I love the little look of this yellow puppers. Oh my goodness. Okay, so maybe we'll try to get two eggs from Celery before it's Celery's time. So let's try crossbreeding this yellow puppers who reminds me of a little daffodil. And we'll go ahead and go with this puppers who reminds me of Celery. All right, fingers, fingers and paws crossed, guys. All right, so we're getting kind of like the daffodilly dog now. Should we go green or should we go daffodil? You know what, I kinda wanna go daffodil and just see where that takes us for a hot minute. So we're gonna go ahead and go daffodilly. And I'm gonna try to get really long ears on our little daffodil. Oh, that one has like a bluish body to go with it. Oh, but do I like the pink body or the blue body? I don't know. Let's try to go ahead. We're gonna crossbreed this one and this one. And we're gonna see what we get as we continue to push this genetic stability as hard as it will go. I kind of like the blue body a lot on these little daffodils. But then the pinks oh, and the purples are so fun too. Here, we'll go with this purple one. And should we go with this one? Does it have longer ears? I wish you could kind of like click on them and see some of the statistics to see if they do have longer ears or not. Oh, I do kind of like the blue ones and they remind me so much of celery being so long. Okay, we'll do these two. Oh, we got a green one all over again. Oh, that one's really, really, really green. Oh man, that might be the one that we might want, even though I want one of these daffod- What the heck? This blue, this one just like yeeted everybody over into the corner. Cause actually this one's super green in a way that celery and mint. Oh my gosh, these two are like fighting with each other now. That's hilarious. Uh, oops, sorry about that. I didn't mean to, to yeet you. This one is the green dog we were looking for. You know what, we'll go ahead and we'll try to do this green puppers because I think that that's gonna be the dog that is gonna live up to Celery's lineage and we'll have Celery the second. Everybody's just jamming out right now. I love this. And then we'll try really quickly breeding again and we'll go for something super unique before Celery passes. So let's select this puppers. All right, this is gonna be Celery the second. Yay! All right, we've got that egg. Okay. So that's good. That's really good. Meanwhile, everything has been going wild back here. And let's move quickly. Celery and mint. We're gonna breed them one last time. There we go. Phew. Okay, so this is kind of fun because we can imagine, that, like these are Rue's siblings actually. Uh, and we can actually imagine that maybe they were born in the same weird Petri dish litter. All right, let's grab you and you. You two look like you'll be the greenest. I probably passed up on like the perfect green dog and I'm gonna feel a little bit silly now, but, oh, you guys are so cute. Okay, we need to go for the longer dogs or else I think we're gonna lose the length that we really want. These two look good. All right, where are jeans gonna take us? Yeet, all these puppies. All right, you look adorable. Hang on, come here, you. All right, you look adorable. And who looks green-ish and long? Maybe you. We might get further if we were trying to crossbreed really, really random ones. 
But right now, I want a pile of celery sticks. All right, we're starting to get some different variation in color, but remember, greenery is the goal. As green as, as, as my dreams, which are very green. All right, come on. Genetically, everybody's sneezing. Probably accidentally breeding that into some of you, I know. All right, let's go for this one. No, let's go for this one at the back. There we go. All right. I think that, yeah, the genetic stability, because we're selecting ones that are so similar, is still really strong. But, all right, getting a little blue. All right, gotta be careful. This one and this one. I, uh, wait, we already had green dog. What am I thinking? Of course I need to go for the ones that are starting to look really unusual. We're going for daffodil dog this time. <gasps> lime green, lime green. This is not a drill. We have some lime green ears over here, friends. Heck, okay. Let's try lime green and then let's try this orangey color. Oh yes, lime green. I love how different all the colors can turn out. Ooh, we've got some lime green going on. No, no, I don't want to select the final dog. We're going to push this really hard and we're going to see what else we can breed. This is so cool because it's not like you know all of the dog variations that you could have because there's so many different characteristics for the different kind of puppers that you can create. So we might end up making like a little puppers we'll call lime. All in your name and memory. Oh yes, that's actually a green dog. This is actually, factually, a green dog right here, friends. Celery, yes, I knew your genetics had it in you. I knew they did. Oh my word. All right, let's try again. Come on, push it hard. All right, we're really getting there now. Genetic stability, starting to get kind of wonky. This one's very like, this one's a lot shorter in like length of body than the others. All right, getting, oh, look at that big giant tail. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, so we want that big tail. We want the green head. Do we have, I like, I just like this one's eyes and this one's like perkiness. I think the eyes are random, but maybe they're not. Maybe they're related to the genetics of the puppers. All right, how's our experiment going? We're down to 6%. We did not make a green body this time. But I love that we have, let's choose you. I love that we have lime, lime, uh, like ears. All right, 4%, 0% stability. Oh, look at the snout. This one's all droopy snouted with a tail. Okay, I think we'll go ahead and we might pick droopy snouted with the snail, with the tail. I don't think we can crossbreed them any further. So this is, this is our final selection. And you know what? I think we'll go ahead and we'll go with this one. I like him. He's got a little zest. I kind of want to name him like Mozart or like something after a famous composer. He just looks like a very serious dog. <laughs> and we've done it, friends! Oh, my heart. All right. Fertilized egg acquired. Man, that's hard. Trying to pick between your favorite puppers like that. Oh, man. Very, very difficult. All right, let's go ahead and we'll clean up the poop. I want to go and spend a little bit of time with Celery before Celery passes, by the way. Oh, Celery. I'm going to give you all the pets. I'm going to give you all of the pets. And then, Celery, I think I need to have your child, the green bean, here. I'm so naming this one green bean, actually. That sounds like the cutest idea. All right, green bean or Celery the second will come and inherit your position in here, Celery, which means I probably want to pass on, whoops, I didn't want this one, which means I probably want to pass on Celery's genetics as much as possible. Green skin right over here, and purple body, orange nose and ears, all more likely with this DNA. That's so cool. And we had a little bit for the droopy face hiding in there with the dropslea, just one little bit of dropslea and a ham-like body. All right, hang in there. Hang in there, Celery. Oh, Celery! <gasps> celery, your little baby, your heir, Celery the second is here. Oh, I'm so relieved. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> you guys, look at Celery's heir. Oh, we're gonna have a beautiful green dog yet. Oh my gosh, is this puppy already digging? <gasps> I love you. I love you. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna move this really quickly. 
so that I can come in here. We're gonna move Celery the second in here. And then I'm gonna come over, build. I need to move this. Celery, I need you to, to please stay in here. Um, and there we go. Celery, you have your 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 offspring, Celery the second, who's bouncing and just being adorable. And what's going on with Rue back there? Being so freaking cute. Wait, you're not Rue. Oh my gosh, you're so tiny. You've gotten so purple. I almost didn't recognize you. All right, we'll turn this on. Celery seems to want this on to play with. Whatever Celery wants right now in this time of aging, Celery gets. Also, tiny little crouton squirrel, come over here and eat, eat this alien fruit, please. Oh, there's a capsule! Yay, we have a whole divider! Oh, that's so cool for when we want to just like have clearly alien dogs everywhere. All right, we're gonna fill this place up with fruit so we can continue to work on our greenery. And then eventually we'll work on different aspects of the green dogs we want. All to play towards getting the rainbow dogs that we have spoken of, of course, friends. All right, crouton, come eat this. Eat it. Here, I'll give it to you. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and praise you for eating and praise you for food. You are quite small. You can do it if you put your mind to it. There you go. We'll praise you a little bit more. <gasps> Celery has lived a long, full life, and now it's time for them to pass on. I love you, Celery. We have had you for a long time. Oh. Oh, listen to everyone howl. Ah, there we go. It's the end. It's the end, friends. Oh, Celery has passed on now. We're going to go ahead and have Celery the second come on over. We'll praise, praise for eating. We're going to hang on, little Crouton. We're going to go ahead and actually put you. Crouton, if you could, I want you to eat this. This alien fruit. There you go. We're gonna feed you the alien fruit, and then I think we'll we'll make Crouton go up and like pup bait for a little while. All right, so that we can leave Celery the second with all of Celery the first <laughs> um, body parts to eat for DNA. This is so weird. This whole experience is exceptionally weird, but I think it's gonna work out okay. Oh, and Celery the second is polite. Just the picture of cons and consideration. How wonderful. Also very social. And what the heck, Tiny? And Tiny somehow managed to go ahead and get Tiny's self, like, in here. I don't how, know how that happened, but it happened. All right, so later the second, keep eating. Trying your best to eat the dog body. That's so morbid. However, we can now go ahead and we can memorialize. <sighs> We can memorialize Celery, a good dog. I would love if you could like change what the memorials say because that would be kind of amazing. All right, and so we see my friends, the cycle of life come all full circle. There you go, little one. There you go. Go ahead and we'll praise you. You, you are learning and gaining much in the gut flora. Like, look at how much gut flora is just being immediately added in. So this is very important because then you don't have to spend a new dog's entire life trying super hard to get all of these DNA, like these little mutations and DNA pieces. You can just benefit. Like, look at what a huge boost, like a huge boost with a lot of random mutations in here. We actually now have for Celery the second, We'll go ahead and praise you for bouncing just like that. Oh my gosh. All right, well, Celery in the second, I'm so happy you're with us too. Heck. And then we do have Crouton ready to hatch, which means we'll be able to start breeding with the squirrels soon. Very exciting. And let's go ahead and we're going to incubate and hatch Celery's last child as a way of, uh, I don't know what we're going to name it. Maybe like, hmm. Lime tail, but it's a purple tail. Uh, we're gonna have to come up with a cool name for it, but we'll go ahead and work on that soon. All right, Celery in the second, you're so cute, just a little baby, just a little baby. And we'll go ahead and have you continue trying your best to eat the dried the alien fruit. There you go. Oh, good puppers. Here you go. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, chomp that down. Get more greenery in your system. 
Oh, and this little one, Celery the Second's already ready to mutate. Gosh, I wonder if that actually comes with uh, just how quickly we fed it. All right, and finally, look at this little one who wants to be named Trouble. <laughs> Look at the ears! Wow, these ears are actually going from side to side! Oh, you know what? We're gonna actually rename this one um, to Mozart. Uh, Mozart? Mozart? Dang it! You know what? He's gonna be a little Mozart. And I probably spelled that wrong, but we can fix it later. Already proving to be extremely playful. Uh, no, not playful. Already proving to be one who hoards objects. However, he is a glutton. Some dogs just live to eat, so we'll have to see what we can feed uh, little Mozart next time. But all right, guys, so thank you so much for joining me as we went ahead and we we endured the loss of Celery. And now we have Celery the second, who will carry on the lineage of green dogs, hopefully. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. But if you guys could, do please leave a like for all of our little wobble dogs. We're slowly but surely trying to build them better gardens. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. What are you guys doing down there? Oh my gosh, you goose. You're a little geese. Alright, bye-bye!